Welcome to the enemy territory, Quake Wars demo. This briefing will prepare you to fight with the strong army against the GDF. Your team must stop them from destroying the contaminator. The GDF have four objectives that you must prevent them from accomplishing. First, they will attempt to build the bridge here. Then they will try to escort an MCP through this tunnel to capture the outpost here. Then they will need to get a covert ops close enough to this shield generator to hack it. If that is done, their MCP will launch a missile that will breach this structure, allowing them access to the contaminator. The Strong have five specialist classes for this mission. Aggressor, Technician, Constructor, Oppressor, and Infiltrator. Once you select your class, you will see the weapons and special equipment available to you. Some classes may change their main weapon, however we recommend you stick with the default loadout. Be sure to review your mission objectives as well as their corresponding locations on the map. Constructors, oppressors, and infiltrators can use a special deployment tool to place fixed position weapons and structures that are crucial to dominating the battlefield. Select the deployment tool by pressing 5. Cycle through the available emplacements by pressing F. Using the mouse, move the wireframe model to a green spot on the ground. Click the fire button to choose a position, and then move the mouse to rotate the structure to point in the direction you wish for it to face. Click fire again to complete the deployment order. Once deployed, the Nexus will launch the structure for automatic placement and deployment. Infiltrators can deploy radar installations that can track enemy units in the field. Constructors can deploy anti-personnel, anti-vehicle, and anti-missile turrets. Oppressors can deploy rail howitzers, plasma mortars, and long-range strategic strike guns. The enemy can disable and even destroy these weapons, so keep them protected, whereas the turrets placed by constructors will acquire and neutralize targets automatically. The oppressor's long-range weapons must be targeted and fired manually. Once rail howitzers, mortars, or SSGs are deployed and operational, oppressors can select the targeting trinoculars by pressing 7. Aim at your target through the trinoculars and press the fire button. Hold down the fire button to secure the coordinates and the weapon will fire on your target. As part of the forward team, you will spawn near a ruined bridge. The GDF will attempt to get their engineers to the bridge to build it here. Do everything you can to stop them. Do not let them gain any ground. Make use of the Icarus personal flying devices to move swiftly across the battlefield. Targeting their vehicles in concentrated groups of soldiers. Infiltrators can take up positions and snipe as many soft targets as they can while oppressors deploy howitzers to bombard the GDF base. Above all, we must prevent the GDF from building the bridge, pin them down in their base, putting them on the defensive, and we'll hold this valley. If they succeed in constructing the bridge, they will try to get the MCP into the outpost, assault them in the tunnel, and focus attacks on this vehicle. The Desecrator Tank's Plasma Cannon is powerful and can destroy any of the GDF vehicles you encounter. Focus its fire on their MCP to disable it and any escorts. Use the Hog Vehicle to assault infantry. Constructors should deploy turrets by the tunnel to reinforce the defenses. The GDF will capture the outpost if they manage to get the MCP to this position, allowing it to deploy. If the GDF succeed in taking the central outpost, they will be in a position to assault this base. They will attempt to hack the shield generator with a covert ops. Focus your defense around this position. Use a combination of ground and air vehicles supported by anti-armor, and you should be able to neutralize their defenses. Oppressors should maintain a constant barrage of plasma and rail howitzer fire on the GDF positions in order to destroy their vehicles and disrupt their defenses. Oppressors can also call in the highly destructive Violator Airstrike by throwing a targeting beacon. 
If the GDF succeed in hacking the shield generator, their MCP will launch an SSM to breach the building housing the contamination device. The GDF will send in soldiers armed with high explosive charges in an attempt to destroy our contaminant, set up positions inside the facility, and neutralize any attempts to breach the contaminator's chamber. Push the GDF back over the bridge and maintain perimeter defenses. To summarize once again, you will need to stop them from building the bridge, from getting the MCP through the tunnel and into the outpost, and from hacking the shield generator. Finally, they cannot get into this structure to destroy the final objective. If your team succeeds in holding off the GDF invasion until the time runs out, the Strog will win the match.